To Pakistan now, where a court has barred a police operation to arrest former Prime Minister Imran Khan until Friday. Khan is accused of repeatedly failing to appear in court for a hearing. It comes after two days of a tense standoff in Lahore between security forces and Khan supporters. Kamal Haider has more from outside Imran Khan's residence in Lahore. We're outside the residence of the Pakistan Tariq and South leader Imran Khan. He, of course, has been based here since that assassination attempt on him. And, of course, he has uh, also asked his supporters to gather around. As you can see, people wielding sticks are now preparing for another police action. The police, of course, has been told by Lahore High Court, which had stopped the police operation till 5 GMT on Thursday, has now extended that till Friday. It has also ruled that Imran Khan will not be allowed to hold a rally at uh, the Minare Pakistan, which is a monument uh, to Pakistan, uh, on the 19th, saying that he would need prior permission uh, for that at least 15 days ahead of that rally. Imran Khan is also likely to appear before the court in Islamabad on the 18th. They were the ones who issued the arrest warrants in the uh, Toshakhana case, which uh, pertains to uh, state gifts received by uh, foreign heads of state. So Imran Khan has called a huddle of his party leaders at 11 GMT at Zaman Park. It will be important to see what decisions are made there. But in the meantime, everybody in Pakistan is hoping that this particular issue is resolved soon. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera, Lahore. And former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan is joining us live from Lahore. Mr Khan, thank you very much for your time. When we spoke two days ago, police and paramilitary forces had surrounded your house. The interior minister said that they would arrest you by the end of day on Tuesday. That hasn't happened. You're now due in court, I believe, on the 18th. Will you appear in court? Will you cooperate with the police? Well, I am. I'm appearing on the court on the 18th. Uh, and just to give the viewers a background, I had bail right up to the 18th when my court appearance was going to take place. The police turned up four days earlier. So it was unlawful. I was already had protective bail. And when, I, when there's this massive force, I mean, it's never happened before in our history. Thousands of policemen and rangers trying to attack my house and arrest me. So when they came with this force, I then gave, my lawyer gave them an assurity that I would attend the court. So the whole idea of police was supposedly to take me to court, which was on the 18th. So I gave them an assurity, and the law says that once I would have given them an assurity, the police shouldn't arrest me. But despite that, the force kept increasing, and the uh, the violence, I mean, the tear gassing and water cannons, and they shot pellets at uh, our, 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 our workers. And then there were bullets fired. So it's never happened in Pakistan before. Authorities and are saying my, that... The, the reason I believe that... Mr Khan, authorities are saying that the reason why they've had to send so many police officers and even the paramilitary is because you are evading arrest. What do you say uh, to the charge that they're trying to... You are facing many charges, but to the specific charge that they're trying to arrest you on this time, which is buying and selling state gifts without declaring the profits correctly to authorities? Firstly... They have 85 cases against me right now. Uh, six more cases added. So every other day, there's some sort of uh, case which comes up in a court appearance. Let me first clear that, that this is an allegation about state gifts. Everything I have done is lawful. The reason I could not attend this particular court was there have been two bomb attacks in this court. There's no security there. Judges were killed and lawyers were killed there. My security team told me that you cannot attend because the place is such that they can't provide any security. So therefore, we asked them to shift that case into another court, which they refused. And, they, and the arrest warrant was given despite... Well, they had, I had an arrest warrant. I had 
protective bail till the 18th. Despite that, the police came. Because the intention is not law here. The intention is to put me into jail. And why are my supporters resisting that? Because there's custodial torture in Pakistan. My senator has been tortured in custody. Uh -huh. My chief of staff was taken, picked up, tortured in custody. A, one of our workers five days ago was killed, tortured in, the, in custody and thrown on the ground. So people are petrified that the intention is not about law. The intention is to somehow get me into jail with, where there is custodial torture. And remember, I'm already, I've just recovered from bullet wounds uh -huh. received in an assassination attempt where I believe the same people who are trying to put me in jail, are they are responsible for the attempt on my life. Again, that is an allegation that, uh, that you're making. You say that people are petrified, but we're also seeing people and your supporters, you have asked your supporters to come out and fight, and indeed we are seeing them outside your house and other places, um, and they themselves are, are, are holding sticks. Are you not worried about the potential for violence here? Well, let me explain first. This is not the first time they've come to arrest me. In the past six months, there have been three times they came to arrest me. And they came to, in the past three times, this, on a weekend, they came up with a warrant, knowing I couldn't go to the court or, because it's a weekend, and they suddenly came to arrest me. Each time when, the, uh, when my supporters found out they were coming to arrest me, they came to surround my house. Why? Because people know that the assassination attempt on me was made by these guys. You know, I have I've named them. And by the way, one and a half months before the assassination attempt, I had been going public and saying that they're going to try and kill me uh, through this uh, a religious fundamentalist, supposedly. I'd warned everyone. And they, I was lucky to be alive today. And so the same people are trying to arrest me on frivolous cases. Mm -hmm. Remember. These cases are all frivolous and allegations. Each time they go into the court, uh, the court removes the cases. I mean, the, dismisses the cases. Well, let's see what happens when uh, you do finally appear in court on the 18th. Uh, Imran Khan, we thank you for your time, as always, on Al Jazeera. We do appreciate it. I can't hear.